Hello guys, I'm Finger Magic and welcome to episode 1 of Legionite's career mode, Marching On. Today we have got two games as normal and it starts with the opening Premier League fixture of this new season. That is against West Ham United and that's away at the London Stadium. And then to finish off this broadcast we will be playing Liverpool at home at the East Point. So a couple of good games to look forward to there, a couple of tough opening games. Good evening, Ballo. How goes it, my friend? Play. Oh, what's this? Oh. Didn't know that, so I've lost my main striker for the first three weeks. Right, let's go do some training. Worker is defending. Welcome is defending us. Um, I don't know about doing any transfers actually. Um, doing quite all right. With my defenders at the moment. Well, pretty much all my players. Let's simulate all these. Let's see how the boys do. The ball goes up to 93. So, how many days is the until get? Oh, not my now. Uh, yes, I do have a, a good team, thank you. And I didn't pay for much of them. I did uh, a lot of it by pre, pre contract agreements in. One winter transfer window I arranged for Andrea Belletti, who I've since sold for over 60 million. Um, Malcolm, Marco Asensio, Denis Suarez, who I've sold for 60 plus million, and Marcus Rashford. Them five came at once. And then I got Raphael Varane the following season then I got Bellerin then Pogba and then I've just got Mbappe and Sane on pre-contract agreements Bayern Munich have offering 125 how's about you kiss my ass for a 29 year old the transfer market has gone nuts. No, I'm not in 
interested in him. I like. Uh... Oh, he looks like could be alright. I like projects, but that's a a bit much. Theory. He's actually really, really good considering he is effectively the third choice player. But he wants Xander Martin as well. You're not having him because he's taking over for Mbappe for a few weeks. So they've moved Liverpool date forward two days. Is that right? Did I understand that correctly? Yeah. Ah, so Mbappe should be back for Arsenal game. Um, five of them players are actually out of my youth academy De Bogo, McKeith, Mason, Fontana and Martin Sancho starting lineup for the next game. You're going to have to come out as well because you're going to be starting for the second team. We'll put Ronaldo in. Big welcome to the broadcast, guys. Hope you are having a marvellous Monday. I need to work on his... Passing a bit more. Right. Brad! Good evening, my friend. Wachowski, welcome to the broadcast. Hope you are doing well. Thanks for stopping by and showing your support. Ah, Colombia. Ah, ah. <clears throat> so we start our eighth season in the Premier League. And we are starting it without Mbappe, but we should be able to, well, let's go. We'll see how it goes, isn't it?
their goalkeeper, if he's still playing for them, is called Martin. And he was actually my goalkeeper, youth team goalkeeper, before Reed and I got two goalkeepers back in my first returns from scouts that I sent out in my very first time I sent them out one were a French goalkeeper and one were a Scottish goalkeeper and I was training the French keeper Welcome to you all. but then I got offered the Scotland Island. national job Welcome and took to the job so I thought well right again. now not start training it's Scottish bloke right up, up to be good so today, and you had to make so much money by the sale right. of youth team graduates so Sold Martin for oh, I think it was 21 million. I've also got another one of my former players. I can't pronounce his name, but I called him Tansy. Centre back. He's one I know Alan's keeping an eye on here. Now plays for Aston Villa in real life. Really from Manchester United. Him. And Slavon Bilic's head on this game looks amazing. I asked my hairdresser to try and West replicate it, but they just can't do it. This. That's Martin. You can tell a bit, Boots. Really Tanzi. Twanza Bay. They have. They should have more than enough. I mean, they're all good defenders in their own right, but uh, in front of them, they've got players who are going to be working really hard. Whether they could be a threat on the front, but we'll don't, wait and don't see. Lie, they're not using Halovic. Look at his hair, it's amazing. It's a real group mentality in this lineup about pressing the opposition into making mistakes and cashing in on it straight away. Well, it takes a lot of energy, a lot of motivation. It's easy to drop off, and when you do drop off that really aggressive closing down, that's when it can fall Look down. That. Mike Dean is the referee today. Leeds United starting the game. They've kicked off. Don't like playing at stadiums where half of it's covered by darkness. I'm trying something new because it's with Marco Asensio. Tierney has been my first choice right back since the very first game of his career. Into the area. It's with Marco Asensio. But um, his stats are absolute. Well, they haven't been for a couple of seasons. Aren't as good as Just lent the ball Mason's. Mason got it back again. So Sane. this is me. Giving him a go. Meyer. Nice interplay between the two of them. Obia. Sane. I believe Germany had taken it at the World Cup. In this attack, and it looks dangerous. Intercepted well. Leroy Sane. Good deep cross towards the far post. He got the last touch, the defender, so that will be a corner. Oh, a touch will do. That was just a piece of poor attacking play. Offside, it's got to be offside. He's caught offside. You see what he's trying to do. It's all about the timing of the run. Defence squeezed. They knew he is a really good player, this Tierney. I were actually pretty annoyed when I bought him because I paid 10.5 million for him and I thought it was way over. Oh dear, way overpriced. But I turned a bid down. 
couple of years ago for 40 odd million, so I thought the 10.5 were a good adjustment. Sane, up for grabs here. The opposition are pressing high up the pitch, but they're keeping the ball. They've got enough numbers back. Elianusi. Now here's a chance to get at the opposition. And it's a shot now. Saved it. And that's a corner for Leeds United. And in it goes. Nah. Corner far too near the goalkeeper. He's at his best in those circumstances. There you go. And it will be their throw. Marco Asensio. Sane. Ah, no, it's up to long. Cleared the ball. Difficult decision for the officials here, but it is a throw, not a corner. It's with Marco Asensio. Cleared away by the defender. Max Meyer. Giving the opposition a problem with their interpassing. Could be dangerous. Elianusi. He's got his shot off now. Ooh, I thought that were going to go in. Opportunity, but there might be a key moment in there from a defensive point of view. Yeah, well, they really did converge on him quickly. He didn't miss by much, but he's I don't know why I'm doing that with him on pitch. And he gives it back to it. Oh, yeah. oh nice work. That's come off the and here's the shot. Couldn't quite keep it down. Just over the top. Yeah, just I fell for that hook line and sinker. Bad effort, though. Marco Asensio. Leroy Sane. And they've cut it out. She made me too poor. Asensio. Now Rashford. Ah, big turnips. Max Meyer. Obiad. Varan. That's gone behind it. It'll be a corner for West Ham. Well, let's have another glance at that save. Oh, that is wonderful stuff. On me, FIFA 17 clear. I had a goalkeeper called Old Doom. And uh, In goes the corner. Well, that's straight out when the I eventually finished the exactly series, be because that. I was starting FIFA 18, it was rated at 92. And still only getting paid 3,600 a week. Oh, come on! some danger now got an excuse I'm Fire. using a new controller opening them up with a through pass Meyer. Okay, now he's looking on. for some support and the referee spotted that deflection he's pointed for the corner right I'm just gonna well, there was that reset my chat because it's crashed it again well it's a chance burn that maybe not the best decision he's ever taken in goes the corner very good distance to the clearance. There's a dangerous feel to this attack. It's looking good from their point of view. Striding forward purposefully. Only trouble is with Martin that's on for Mbappe. He's got out there quickly and stopped Not the ball prolific enough. In. Marco Asensio. Good vision. Well, this attack has got a bit of menace to it. Ah, oh, my man, stupid! Marco Asensio. Proper tackle that. Obia. Oh, 
Elianusi. Referee's had a good look and decided what he's seen from this uh, period of play to add on three minutes. Attacking well here. Oh god, I have to play a bit in the second half. Oh, oh yeah. Whoa. Maya. Well, that's not so much an interception. So it's half time and we're still waiting for that first goal. Steady at best in the first 45 minutes, still 45 minutes. I can't even remember having a shot. Now here's a chance to oh, get yeah, did with Sam there. Oh, yeah, I did with him as well. Saved it. Chelsea were my biggest rivals last season. It took me right until the final game of the season to actually be crowned champions. He's happy <laughs> he sneezed and pulled a muscle. I know somebody who's done that before. Sneezed and slipped, slipped the disc in the back. Oh, yeah. That's good movement forward here. It's with Marco Asensio. Intercepted well. Came in with the challenge and the ball broke free. Marco Asensio. Oh, come on, Fingy. Trying to slip it through. Well, they're in a good position here. Obia. Elianusi. Transfer news, and it's come from Manchester United. It's confirmed this deal is. Yeah, they've just bought him off me for 89 million. I got him enough. Oh, that's one of free transfers I forgot to mention. I got him as well. Free transfer, pre contract agreement. He might be through. Slipping it through. He's in. Rashford. Get in. Took a deflection, but I'll take it. Well, for a fraction of a second, Alan, I thought he was going to keep it out. He did get a touch on the ball, the goalkeeper, but in it went. Yeah, he's annoyed with himself there. He's his own harshest critic, and he feels he should have done better. Ooh, off the nuts. Leeds United in front. Just a little nudge to nudge you in the direction of what's coming up on EA Sports for you. Our coverage... Of the Premier League fixture for West Ham United, they'll be hosting Spurs. Oh, that's yeah, it, tackle each other. Talking about this one, looking forward to it. Now, target using his physical power to protect the ball. Could be a chance here. Yeah, canasta. Good area. Well, we've got an angle on this uh, offside call. Alan, yeah, Marcus Rashford. The most difficult thing in all the officiating, I think. I nearly bought him. Pino can. He's got eagle eyes. Well, I well, didn't nearly buy him. Nearly signed him, should I say? The uh, speed that players move now, as it turns out, what a great call. Crafting the through pass. Time and to Tutika. I apologise if I am saying random words that don't actually mean anything, but I'm trying not to swear really as much. To read the intention of the pass. Take it with you, it helps. No, oh, the ball, yeah. Proving. Well. Started kicking up in there. It's some sort of skill, but I don't know what, to do, what it is. On the move and able to cut out the pass, shredding it through. No, I should have kept going straight. But the move has broken down. One Bellerin, you're supposed to be fast. Put in from the wide area. Only partially. No, that's not a free kick. Oh, what a miss! Well, what a chance for an equaliser that was, and 
I think the tension got to him, tightened up. Obiak. There's a dangerous feel to this attack. It's looking good from their point of view. Just read the intentions of the opposition there to make the interception. And here's the shot. Ooh, That's deflection. The well, they're still trying. Del Fabro's not quite ready to replace Varane yet in such a close game. Bringing and they need to do something now if they want to get back Bring in this game. On. Maybe some fresh legs will do the trick. Well, the team that are in front are going to try and keep it front. Andre Gomez a for Paul Pogba from Chelsea. From the Super reflexes from the goalkeeper. Paul Pogba went at Chelsea. Andre Gomez were at Chelsea. Pogba worth 20 million more than him, but I did a straight swap because I dislike him that much. In goes the corner. Corner far too near the goalkeeper. He's uh, at his best in those circumstances. And they out. Good cricketer, Sean Pollock, wasn't he? Nearly. Attacking now. The shot's on. Chinga Tunis. Right out of the goalkeeper's reach. Up in the top corner. Is that all of it? Well, that has been coming. And no. they've played well enough, making so many chances they've taken this one. Well, it's uh, a dream day for those forwards because no shortage of chances created. Top day for them. Wouldn't surprise me if they actually Trying went on the one. Switch on the attacking power in this situation. So we'll restart with a throw in. Um, I'd say one of my favourite players is Marco Asensio. And, but Danny Cabello is as well. Alan Halilovic. El Yunusi. Into the attacking third. Now the shot! I liked Lucas Radebeer well, well I still do when he would at Leeds one that could backfire on him extra striker for this good stop by the goalkeeper El Yunusi Sane Ah, you twonker! Until that challenge. An opponent around him, that's good screening of the football. Well, they're in a good position here. And it's a shot now! Oh, Great work it. by the goalkeeper. The ball is his, and he's made sure he's protected it. Ah! Save he's made there, and he's not let the ball escape his grasp. That the interception was a bad is a vital decision, one. poor decision that. Here's a chance to attack. Ah, you mongrel. Now target. And it's going to be a minimum of three minutes to be played of added time. It could be on in this attack. They've got men over to try and get a winning goal. Looking for teammates in the middle. And the goalkeeper will get this one, no problem. And that will be a throw as the header goes out of play. Yeah, Twonka. You can work out the two words that I nearly said. Marco Asensio. Trying to pick... We've got his fist to it. Cleared away, well away from goal. Oh, you! Other yeah, things. I'll take a draw. How bad I played. Oh, that is the final whistle. 
And it's finished level here. Top at league, probably, and I'm playing them next. Everton one, Swansea City two, Liverpool two, Burnley nil, Manchester City one, Bournemouth nil, Stoke City one, Southampton one, Tottenham Hotspur two, Chelsea two, Watford two, Leicester City one, West Ham United one, Leeds United one. Chris Graham. Could put Kennedy there, can't I? Kennedy's been I got um Welcome to the broadcast noons anyway. Uh I got promoted every season with Forest Green Rovers. I could have actually won the Champions League in my first season in Premier League as well, but I got beat in semi final. It was my second season in Premier League that I won Champions Cup League, whatever you call it. But when I've I've still got on oh no, iron, I've got rid of them now. But when I won second Champions Cup with them, I still had two original Forest Green players playing for me. Right, Anthony Gomez, Garon, Reed, Vieira, Gould, Roberts. I think some of the problem. that might have been with that game was the lack of creativity. I should have probably put Cabello on the left hand side of midfield, but that'll be for the next Leeds United broadcast. Two promotions in three years is a good that that's good that Right, let's go do some training. Oh, Man City at top. Gonna work. High pressure finishing.
Not in... In... What, in a... Getting ready for World Cup, Belgium and Costa Rica. Simulate them and see how the boys do. That's Ryan Sess that's a good price for Ryan Sessini on that. That's good strength, that bit too much. I'm going to leave him there though. That's not bad at all. Not bad at all, that. Bloody hell, that's some different positions to play in it. He's one of the only decent left backs on game, is Tierney. Welcome to the broadcast, guys. Hope you are having a marvellous Monday. I tell you to look at noons. Go to Danish League, the Alka Superliga. Go to Brondby and look at a midfielder called Tibling. And look at an attacking midfielder called Hani Mukhtar. You'll see him shortly anyway, because I'll be putting my Bromby career on after this broadcast. He's really good. And he can play on left and right. Yeah, somebody else told me about Buskets the other day. It might have been you. Trouble is overall forty five.
That goalkeeper looks like it could be good. So does Nunes. Forty-seven. It's too low, is that? Yeah, Martin is. I think is a. a Everton or he has been on this, I've nearly signed him before. Alright, so Joe Gomez is going up against his former employers. As is Sanson. <laughs> Evening, Zaza. Muktad will be about 40 on this game. It's 2025-2026. Hi, everybody. Welcome to today's game. Martin Tyler here with Alan Smith. And the game today, Leeds United play Liverpool. Bill Ford, isn't it? That's an all right signing. Leeds United, last time out, they were away from home. They drew against oh, West Ham. No, that 1 1 draw, you know, I had a lot to, to recommend it. I enjoyed it, and uh, I think we're going to be in for another good tussle here, but I think it will be a draw again. I'm a striker like. Just on his toes. Manager, I've got Roberts. Leeds United starting the game. They've kicked off. Check. This could be it. Going to try one now. An excellent chance. More than matched by the goalkeeper. Not offside. I've took that as well. Situation. Oh, great agility, great reflexes there, and uh, denying the opposition any knockdowns as well. Melotti. Now they've got a chance in this part of the pitch. Now this is an interesting attack. Turnips. Klopp, welcome to the broadcast, my friend. Touchline, pretty clear that it was going to end up with a throw-in. Joel Matty. They've got numbers in this attack, and it looks dangerous. Shot off now. Corner given after that tackle. And in it goes. Superb work to reach that. Great technique and great belief to feel that he could stop the goal Come on. Well, looking at goals Martin oh, he's gone down now a defender showing those kind of defensive instincts and now the shot and that's a, a save for the goalkeeper more news on the injury and Jeff Shreves is the man in possession of the information penalty he landed really heavily on his shoulder there and looks like he's in severe pain but he looks less concerned than the bench who are worried about him I think he'll stay on thanks Jeff spot on here they are on the attack. 
That's an excellent cross. Not really away from the threat here. Here's Roberts. Joel Matty. Quick passing from Liverpool to open up the opposition if they can. And out wide, they were in a good position until that defender acted very promptly and decisively. Sancho. Oh. Here's Ryan Gould. Keep making the forward run. Shreds it through. Real chance. <laughs> Not too much time for extra touches here. Belotti. Sorry, I got right discombobulated there, mid. Nephew decided to start using jet wash right underneath my window while it's Throw open. It for Liverpool. Maguire. Odegaard. Well, they're in a good position here. Ryan Gold. Good defense. Wrong way. Moving the opposition around with their play, these two players. And they've cut it out. Well, he's kept the ball after a good first touch. Really getting at the opposition this far up the pitch now. And it's time to finish it off. So wise. Here's a corner to come for Leeds. Played into the middle. All Peters out rather for them. Chance to go at the opposition with pace. It's confident and it's classy really. But it is a bit of a gamble for the player who's still in possession. Well, he's cut that out well, well read. Now this looks promising. I have just Odegaard. gone and got a new controller. I have used it for one match. Belotti. The air button stick. Not really making inroads. And shoots. You are joking me. Did you see that? A build up that was the way that they pulled the opposition out of position so patient until they did have an opening. What a marvelous goal. What a deflection. Earlier incident the big deflection. Well, that's the life of a defender. You try and put your body in the way, but sometimes it ricochets off. Boris Green is certainly making some signings. Have taken the lead. Sancho. Well, I like the look of this attack. Morgan stands on. Now the shot. Saved it. Oh, I, I didn't get a deflection to go in. Welcome to the broadcast, B3. Hope you are doing well. Corner swung in. Not able to take full advantage of a good position. They can be quick on the break now. Looking for a through ball. He's in. Well, here comes the support, promising build-up until that challenge. No, I saw the look from the other player and saw where the pass was going and read it. Played down the wing, keeping the wide attack going. Well, they look promising there in that wide area, but the defender's done well. We can have another look at that very important match-leading goal. Put away, but not out of harm's way. Now Martin Odegaard. The referee has acknowledged the flag from his assistant and given the offside. Ooh. Brian Gould. Coming on strong. And looking to play their way through now. 
stopped emphatically and just as well. The approach play looked very encouraging. Out of harm's way, out for a throw. Ryan Gould. Terrible out. pass. Trying to catch the other team out with a quick break here. Threading it through. Looking to make an opportunity either for himself or a teammate. Here's Ryan Gould. Roberts. Could be a chance here. They've got the ball into a good area. And the time to be added on here is a minimum of three minutes. Yeah, he knows, don't worry. Then Donker. Now Martin Odegaard. Defended well. I don't think the coach would be too happy with this. Trying to play in the defensive third quite as much <laughs> as he's doing. Well, the referee has signaled... It's Liverpool's game to win, really. Now they've got the uh, lead at half time. Off they go for the second half. Oh, my cheeking kebabs. And he gives it back to it. Right, that's it, well enough now. Velotti on the move and able to cut out the pass. Really trying to use the full width <laughs> to make some progress. <laughs> I think that's a good performance, isn't it, Alan, from him in the first half? Well, he played really well, didn't he? And he got himself a goal. To put his team ahead, he'll be pleased with that first 45 minutes. And that's good support as they build this attack. Shots on here. Here's Ryan Gould. Beautiful work on the ball. Moving, slipping it through. A real opening for him. No, you cowboy, you turdy bollock. Still alive here. That's a corner for Leeds. There's a trick. Welcome to the broadcast, my friend. Liverpool want to make a change here. Ray, good evening, buddy. How goes it? In goes oh, that's just a turn. Well, that's straight at the goalkeeper, and the attacking team will be annoyed with that. Belotti. Here's Renato Sanchez. They've got numbers in this attack. He's had dangerous. nine different clubs in Sive of his career. Supporting player alongside. Started off at Swansea into Burnley. Well, it's the talk of the town, Alan, isn't it? This potential big money signing. Yeah, it does seem to have been rumbling on for quite some time. I wouldn't be surprised, though, if he does get looking for a through ball. Brilliant, but must score! Oh, you turn on the potential sir. Well, he's having one of those days, isn't he, where everything is going right. Well, this goalkeeper looks absolutely determined to keep this clean sheet of his. What a save. Normally when he says that about my keeper, Here's Renato Sanchez. concede. That's good movement forward here. Well, we've got an angle on this uh, offside call, Alan. I must say, it is the most difficult thing in all the officiating, I think. But this assistant... He's got eagle eyes. Well, I certainly wouldn't want to do that job because uh, the uh, speed that players move now, as it turns out. Sorry, guys, but I've read a lot of chat. I've been trying not to Coming up for you on lose this game by any more than I am already. The coverage of the Premier League fixture, Leeds United. The little deflections are 
Yeah, it's got a good feel about it, that one. Look forward to joining you in the gantry for it. Here's Ryan Gould. No, it's not. A turnover in play here with that interception. Ryan Gould. We could be in. He's had a go here. Superb save. He shouldn't have had a chance at all with that. But ooh, what about those reflexes? Brilliant. Leeds United have got a corner now. No, I didn't want that to happen. It is a substitution now to keep the team on their toes and to keep this lead, they hope. He's put in the corner. Defended well. Oh, it's you... With the passing and the opposition able to deal with that. Do you think I played... So bad because I haven't been able to swear. Break away now on the counter. Now to take the opposition on, it's Renato Sanchez here. Roberts. Morgan Sanson. Come away with the ball. No free kick, you off. Kidding me. Velotti. Goal. Oh, what a fine goal. That's game over, isn't it? They lead by two now. They'll feel a little bit more comfortable. And they're good value for this advantage at the moment. Good luck here. What's supposed Again, to happen when you tap record, Brad? Restarting at 2-0. Goal for Liverpool. Number 17, Sergio Malanaclay-Sammer. Morgan stands on. I can't believe this A button's sticking and this control is just that fucking box. Made that look like a poor pass with a very good interception. Here's Roberts. And here they are on the attack. The pass threaded through. Played in the clear. It's just one of them games. One of them games. Got to be. I mean, look at that. Are you ready? Yeah, he took responsibility, didn't he? Can't believe and, uh, the he'll be hoping it's a button sticking. Joel Matty. It's on the move all the time and makes lots of these interceptions. He's coming forward with some danger. That's a brilliant challenge. Renato Sanchez. Oh, uh, yeah, gonna pull me for that, you f Well, suddenly they could be on the counter attack. Slip through. In with a chance. And that's in the back of the net. And it's there for Liverpool. <laughs> <laughs> really has finished the job. 
perfectly. They've dominated the match. Yeah, ruthless. They weren't going to go easy on the opposition. Thoroughly professional performance. Well, we're in the last few minutes now, and the die has been cast in this game, really. Yeah, what a pasty. We're hearing there will be three added minutes here. Then Donker. Renato Sanchez. Well, this attack has got a bit of menace to it. Can pull it back here to set up a chance. There is the Whoa, final. Whoa, that was bad. Well, guys, unfortunately, or well, fortunately, maybe, that's it for this broadcast. I hope you enjoyed. We'll go with enjoyed the two games that I brought to you. Um, we started the Premier League season. We'll just leave it at that. If you did enjoy the games, it'd be awesome if you could hit that follow button. Yeah, you'd get it if I had you completely kicked me ass out <laughs> if you did enjoy it it'd be awesome if you hit that follow button but if you do please don't forget to turn them notifications on then you won't miss any of my future gaming shenanigans also if you follow me on twitter which is at thingamajig you receive a tweet when I start broadcasts and a tweet when I start reruns you'll also receive regular tweets containing discount codes from sponsors you'll get notifications of the game clips and the past live stream playlists that are on my youtube channel which is forward slash thingamajig there's loads of different content on there too. As always though, thanks for stopping by. I really can't thank you enough for taking time out of your busy lives to come and watch my latest gaming adventures. I will try and do better the next time. The next time with Leeds United will consist of two games as normal. It'll start with Watford away at Vicarage Road and it will end with Arsenal at home at the East Point. I do look forward to seeing you there. But my next broadcast will be within a, will be in a few minutes. That will, will be with my Bromby career. I do look forward to seeing you there. But until then, I'm Thingy Majig. And I'll see you in a bit. Couple of minutes, guys, that's it. Won't be long. <laughs>